So a few days ago, The Nine Club published a new interview with Chris Haslam where they talked about a video I made a long time ago and had some things to say about me, and I want to respond to it. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video, a channel about skateboarding in all of its forms. I answer your questions about skateboarding, I research different things for you, I play skateboarding video games and show them off, do all kinds of things in the skateboarding world. And today I just wanted to talk about a video that was published on the Nine Club recently where the hosts all insulted me in a bunch of different ways, especially Kelly Hart who really laid into me. Um, and I wanted to give some context to what it was that they're talking about and share my response to it. So about four years ago, I posted a video called Does Chris Haslam Cheat at Laser Flips? Which is a video that they were talking about and none of them actually had seen um, from what I could gather in the video. Uh, in that video, I talk about Chris Haslam's technique where he does a laser flip. Uh, he often uses his back heel. So when he starts to scoop it, uh, his back heel hooks underneath the back of the board and it starts to flip. And he even talks about this uh, on the uh, on the Nine Club. They're showing a bunch of his old clips and they're showing different ones that he did. And he's explaining that although his front foot does some, his back foot does most of the work and it, and it flips the board um, for, for the most part. And depending on which one, if it's a big spin, if it's just a laser, if it's, you know, if it goes beyond that, uh, how much of his back foot is used in different ways. And so uh, back in the day there were uh, people who were doing different types of tricks like that and it was called a kiwi flip uh, at, at the time and the guy who uh, who named it is named uh, Americ Nokus and he and I were were friends on um, and he was doing a bunch of these. He doesn't even use that name now. But what he was doing is basically like a front shove, hook his heel under, and, and flip it. And so he, he would do that. He had 360 versions, big spins, 540 big spins, gazelles, 720 gazelles. He could do every version of this that you could think of. And at one point, I noticed that Chris Haslam did them the same way. So there are clips. Um, if he does them switch or, or uh, nollie is normally how he does it, but out of a nose manual or there were different clips that I showed and you can see that he uses his back heel to get underneath the board and kind of flip it. And I was just posing the question, is this cheating? He's not doing what you would think of as a laser flip. He's actually under flipping it. He is doing what we used to call Kiwi flips. Um, and again, people don't really use that name now, but they did at the time and so Haslam actually talks in this uh video about where he doesn't even call out he doesn't name the tricks now he just says like here's something i did because people will tell him that that's not a laser flip and that he's cheating because it's really a kiwi flip so this is clearly in reference to people who had seen my video and will actually tell him either in their comments or even in person i don't know tell him that he's not doing an, a real laser flip and so uh he just reacts by not calling it that now but the other guys on the show had different things to say i'm sorry but like when does haslam cheat on his late no like, yeah no there's well he i'm he, like dude who, there's who a guy that was the guy <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid that is like i'm sorry that's fucking dork yeah <laughs> So even in this interview, Haslam doesn't necessarily disagree that it's a different technique. And he even says, if you don't use your front foot at all, it's a different trick. Uh, and he tends to use his front foot, but if in a certain angle or something like that, he might not, and it would be considered a different trick. And so this was the question I was posing in the video. Now, I watched a bunch of different footage. I watched uh, different skaters do the trick, uh, especially anyone who does a 540 version. They will almost always underflip with their back heel. It's just a technique. And so at the end of the video, I concluded that it is not actually cheating. It's just a technique. It's a style. It's a method to do the trick. It's a way to get it to spin a little bit faster and get it to come around. So my conclusion was not that, yes, he is a cheater. It was a question I posed. I was expecting to decide that he was. And then when I did all the research and found that more people did it too, that's when I determined that it's not. And the reason I don't think it is uh, cheating at this point is just because... Uh, like I said, you know, it's it's a technique to do it. Imagine trying to do, especially like a 540 uh, version, to just scoop it. Like you have to get that extra little push. Uh, it's the only way to do it. 
There's even a video by Ellis Frost titled How to Cheat Your 360 Flips. And he does basically the same thing, but the opposite way, where he hangs his toe off. And as he scoops the 360 flip, he flicks some, and he also uses back foot slightly and together it kind of does the the trick and it is more consistent for him and he finds it to be you know an easier method to do it um of course he calls it cheating but it's kind of like how do you get people to <laughs> click on your video you say it's cheating so that they think oh there's a there's a hack there's there's a, a secret way to do it but i think that's all it is it's a technique it's a it's a secret hack that most people don't know about uh you know if you were to just go out and try to learn the trick you're not going to know that you can hook your heel underneath it so anyway yeah they just made that uh you know no one had watched the the video they're reacting to reactions to something i made and in insulting me for it, which I didn't really appreciate too much. So uh, if you want to see the original video that they're talking about, uh, it's right here. It is also linked in the description if you want all of the context. I show lots and lots of examples in extreme detail, breaking down exactly how it works and who does it and where and how and what variations there are and all kinds of different things like that. Um, and you can check that out and make up uh, your own mind as to whether it deserves to be called a different trick. I do think there is value in naming tricks uh, the way that they are. So, like in the, if you watch the whole uh, the whole Nine Club thing, which I think you should because it's good. Like I really like Chris Haslam; he is one of my favorite skaters. And there's a lot of really interesting things that happen in that uh, video. But one thing you'll notice is the way that he describes his tricks is very laid back. It's just like, well, I you know kind of hooked my toe under it and I did it like this. He doesn't use very specific language to carefully describe it, and that's fine. But I do think there is value in having the right terms to explain what you're doing so uh if it is a different trick or not it doesn't really matter because it's still a good trick the only reason the only way you could cheat at a trick is if it's in a game of skate you know and i've i've said that a, a bunch of times you can't really cheat if you go outside and you do a trick in your driveway who are you cheating you can't really cheat the only way you could cheat it is if you are s claiming it's something and it's not but uh, yeah, so you can watch that video for yourself and make up your own mind. But I just wanted to uh, address it because a lot of people are bringing it up in the comments that they've noticed them talking about me in the uh, video. So I thought I would do this. But that's it for now. Um, a few maintenance things. If you tried to submit an Ask Rad Rat question about a week ago, it may have given you an error or asked you to log in or something like that. Uh, I fixed that. So if you were having that issue, you can go ahead and submit your question again. Uh, and I also set up a new store. I've got nine new shirts. They're shirts and sweaters and stickers and bottles and bags and all that kind of stuff. So check the description for the link to that uh, if you want to see that. But that's it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything in the future and any more controversies I may become part of. But that's it. Uh, thanks for hanging out.